Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Surviving Mars. That's right, there is a brand new DLC today called Below and Beyond, meaning that we can go below the planet's surface of Mars and we can go into asteroids to collect all sorts of cool resources and do other things there. I'd like to thank Paradox for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to check out this game, there's a link down below in the video description where you can click on it. And the base game of Surviving Mars is free for the next 24 hours and you can pick up the DLC sees there as well so with that said let's jump in and create a brand new game today we're gonna go try to go below the planet surface and try to harvest some of the asteroids floating around too so we're gonna start out with the international mars mission as our sponsor because we get 30 billion dollars and 300 research per soul now one thing i do want to do a little bit different is maybe get rid of some drones down to four and i want to get some more orbital probes because we have to find an entrance to the cave system in the planet and now we get to pick a beautiful landing spot somewhere here on the planet what do we have here ellipsium alpha elysium alpha relatively flat good concrete i'm gonna take this one that one sounds good and this might be one of those caverns look at that that's amazing so here we go, the beautiful red planet. So first thing I see here is that we do have those six probes, but I see right down here, where was that? Right here, that's an entrance to the cave, and I saw another one here too, right here. I'm gonna try maybe to use my probes in here just to see if I can find anything else. Okay, that's not great. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so it told us it's there. Oh, we have concrete, excellent. Concrete and metal. I would like some water close by. Hmm. Let's see, should I go here and here? Let's do these two. That one and that one. Good, we got some water and concrete right there. Perfect. That's a that's a very nice place to land. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna rotate this around. We got a good landing spot for our spaceship. And this, my friends, is my favorite part in this game. Something very satisfying about watching a planet or watching a spaceship drop down onto a planet and listening to that engine roar. And then the door opening and the rovers jumping out all excited to be here like a puppy dog. There they go. So that is the RC commander. He's got drones inside of him. And then this one's the explorer, goes and finds our anomalies and this guy can collect resources. Very nice. All right, so let's start our basic building here. We have the drone hub that we can use, but I want to get the concrete extractor first. We're gonna put that right about there and we're going to set our explorer guy down in here to analyze that anomaly and these guys are going to start working they're start getting their resources and bringing it in here and i do want to go and go out and collect some metal so i can bring it back quicker cool and the little rovers are so excited they're running over there like oh boy we get to collect metal and then they're going to bring it back over here and then we're going to build up a concrete extractor it'll be fun probably also need power to start that up so let's get the free sterling generator that i got i'm also going to put in a few extra things like two of these large wind turbines and i wouldn't mind getting some large solar panels to begin with too and of course the power accumulator basically a battery oh good the underground we discovered a deep pit that connects the network of caverns and lava tubes our initial scans show some odd readings we should be able to build an elevator to get vehicles and resources down the low gravity on mars allows for much larger lava tubes and caverns than on earth is the pit big enough to send one rc explorer down i'm not going to send that let's research the elevator so we'll jump to the elevation tree and right there beautiful now I'm gonna outsource this. One of the reasons why I bought a lot, or I brought a lot of money along, just so I can get a lot more of that. And I do want to get some of these initial ones too. Less fuel for those. That's always a good thing. New research, new resource seeds. Mm, I don't really care about that right now. We are gonna to need to get people here on the planet, but it's gonna take a little bit of time before we can do that. Next thing, I'm gonna get a couple of universal storages in, just so our little droney boys can get us some things going on. I'm gonna slap in a dumping site over here. So they'll bring in the rocks from that and we're gonna bring in a concrete deposit too. So we can drop all of the concrete that we mine from inside of there. Cool, that looks like a good start. And now the concrete is being harvested. Beautiful. And our little drone is back to drop off all of that metal he picked up. Good job RC transport man. Okay, you did that good. I'm gonna make you go do another one. And the other guy's researching up here. 
Next thing I can do is put down a drone hub. I'm kind of wanting to get it like connected over here a little bit. So I'm going to put in this guy right about here so we can get the water from this side plus reach over there a little ways. Ooh. We've just found okay. Two. Oh, nice. Robotic tech is 10% less. Heirloom, your attention is required. You receive a strange package with a letter attached. As you read the letter, your eyes fill with tears. Your old friend and teacher, Professor Reitman, passed away. Oh, we get all sorts of things. Different techs. Superior cables, superior pipes, plasma rocket, nano refinement, super fungus. I don't know which one I want. I'm feeling like superior cables is probably good for beginning. So the next step is going for water here as soon as we can. We have a moisture vaporizer plus a water extractor. I'm going to drop that in right in here. I'm also going to get a water vaporizer. Moisture vaporizer takes moisture from the air. And of course, we'll store that using just a regular pipe. And we'll hook those up to the power. We got a new anomaly. Tells us that we found Less physics cost. Sulfur. I'm pretty excited to build this thing. Where is it? Right over here? Yes, the elevator can be taken down now. Can transport vehicles, colonists, resources between the surface and the Martian underground. That's going to be fantastic. Let's connect that power cable right over here. Also need to connect some pipes between these just to get them hooked up. All the other drones are like, no, we want to go down underground where there's no whirlwinds and the sun's not going to give us cancer or something. That's beautiful. The water's being produced, taken out of the ground. I'm so excited. They're almost ready. They got like, oh no, they got a lot more concrete to go. Never mind, they're not almost ready. Good news is though, I can start making a moxie, which produces oxygen. We're going to do that a little bit. I guess up here. I don't really want to mess up the concrete and I don't want to drive around it. So we're going to do that right in here. Could have done it over here. Oh, well. And to go with the moxie, we need an oxygen tank. And we'll cook up this thing. Not cook. Ooh, we found some another one. Material 30 rare metals. Small That's kind of nice. Oh, nice. This thing is ready to go. We have full fuel on there. So we're just going to lift you back up and return to Earth. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. We did it. More science. And now that that's gone, we're all alone. We should probably make a landing pad or two here. Now I'd like to pull in another cargo rocket before any people come aboard. I don't really care about the orbital probes because I found that, but another explorer could be nice. Also another transport, which would be good if we're gonna go underground. I'd like to get a fuel refinery in here and probably a drone hub as well. It's kind of expensive though, not gonna lie. It's only a cool billion dollars. So can I get a bunch more little drones? I can. They're nice. We'll get 10 more and get some more resources here. Cool. That should work. Come on in, trust number one. Ah, oh, this is cool too. Micro G landers. A new asteroid lander can be ordered from Earth. It can land on asteroids and ferry resources and colonists between them and our main colony on Mars. That's great. We also have the recon center, which helps us get new asteroids. Help find them, I guess. Not get new ones because they're already there. and They're not really new. They're really old. Maybe it gets my better judgment. I'm going to build another one of these. Should be okay. It just is going to deplete that one faster. And of course, we're going to get a dust storm. Why wouldn't we get a dust storm? Ah, perfect. Our other ship has arrived, but that's not ready yet. Because they're putting all of the concrete towards this thing. That's okay. Another rocket's going to land anyway. Just going to be a little bit dustier. Good. We have our new explorer and our transport. And you guys are going to go down below. It'll be fun, I promise. And all the new drones are coming out. They're so excited to be here too. Fuel refinery, consumption, power, and water. Oh, the dust storm's here. That's fun. Also feels like we're in a really good windy area up here. So I'm going to pop some of those in and connect that to the power line. Oh man, there's so many drones here. Well, now you finished. <laughs> but nice that that landing pad would have been done like 30 seconds ago. Ooh, and they're constructing it. That's even better. Oh, everything's been brought to the site. I'm so excited. I've never been underground on Mars before in real life. Ah, oh, I'm beautiful. Look at these things go, the large wind turbines. They're nice. I like them. Now, I also want to start building up this thing, the fuel refinery that I made. Base production 12. Now, it takes water and stuff. I'm going to put it over here, even though I don't need to. We're just going to put it right next to the Moxie. This is crowded enough where it is. Plus, it's a little bit outside of my range. Although, I totally could put another water extractor in, like, right here, and I really want to. So I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, it's it's created. It's made. We can go down in the elevator. All right, little explorer. I need you to go. <gasps> okay, and you too. RC transport. They're going. Should I grab the drones too? Everyone, let's go. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. I'm so excited right now. Go to go, go. Okay, so I get to go underground now. And there we are. We're underground. Not quite yet. Oh, yes, we are. 
There are sea explorers here. Quick, scan the anomaly. And then you guys just kind of do what you do. Oh, that's fantastic. What is this? There's like a, a blockage here. How do I remove the blockage? Can you remove the blockage? Is that a blockage? I don't really know. We're exploring and we're not using an explorer. I'm fine with that. I am totally cool being underground on Mars and not exploring with an explorer. Maybe I can get some sweet resources down here. Ooh, like that. Nice. Oh, a connected network of tunnels. Further scans show a connected network of rooms and tunnels. A few strange structures that we have trouble identifying. We should explore further and cover the secrets of Mars. The scans indicate richer deposits and tunnels spacious enough to expand our colony down there. Unfortunately, many places still appear to be unstable. Should be careful. Cool. That's awesome. I'm underground now. I did it. So a cave-in. How do we how do we get this? Do I use the drones? Oh, it's too dangerous to clear this before we know more about the Martian underground. Ah, so maybe one of these caverns will show us something cool and exciting that we can research. Maybe I should look at the research. Oh, this looks like a room. Oh, what is that? Okay, some underground metals. Yeah, the cave-ins here, those are annoying. It looks like a nice big room there though. Oh, what is this thing? Another anomaly. Let's queue that up. I'm going to go back to the Sector surface scan. and build some more. Oh, that looks cool. You can build domes underground. So I'm going to build up a drone hut extender here. The drones will be able to go from here to there and everything will be fine. Now it's starting to get a little bit weird because the only way we can get underground metals is if we have a metal extractor staffed by colonists. So if we want to expand, we need to get people. Thankfully, uh, this scenario does give us a dome that is self-sufficient. I mean, that's a lot of resources right there. Small dome, moxie, two moisture evaporators, water tower, oxygen tank. It's fully self-sufficient. But do I want to put it there? I kind of don't. Oh, this would actually be better. I could put the dome right here. And then we're close to a rare metals one too. That'll work. Okay, domey boy time. This is my favorite. I say a lot of things are my favorite in this game, but this is one of my favorites. I just have to have uh, drones over here. Wait, maybe I should cancel that and then build it underground. I think that would be even more fun. Can I actually build it underground though? That's the real question. Right here, where is it? Oh, I can't. Wait, why not? Oh, I probably, I need a research, I bet. Meteor shower incoming. Oh no, not a meteor shower. I don't like that. Please don't blast me with meteors. Speaking of which, oh, we do have the sensor tower. Another supply rocket coming in. Got a couple resources and another robot commander. I'm gonna bring you downstairs. Actually, no, we have one downstairs already. I would really like to make a thing downstairs, but I'm really starting to think for progression's sake, we should build a dome upstairs here, a basic dome. I wanted the self-sufficient one, like that. That looks perfect. It's gonna take a little bit of time to build it, but I will, ooh, another anomaly. I will build this over here. Too far from working drone tower, that's fine. Okay, we got another concrete one. I'm just gonna put it in right here. And then I'll drive my RC commander truck over here. And these dudes are gonna build this thing up, which looks amazing. I'm gonna totally hook it up to my main group. I'll tell you what, that technology where pipes and cables are automatically made and require no maintenance or supplies is super nice. Like not lying at all, that is so nice. Oh, ha dang! We just found a new, we found a new asteroid. Type C asteroids, most common of all. Exotic minerals, rare metals, and water and polymers. I'm totally gonna plan a visit there. It's right up here. That's the asteroid. We're gonna we're gonna visit it. I need to get it. I need to get it a rocket. <laughs> so if I go back to Earth, I can get an asteroid launcher. That will be fun, and I can let you go back up in space. I could send you off to one of the anomalies on the planet I found, but we don't have any scientists yet, so you might as well just go home. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh. Luckily, no time. Green landing. Five supply pods and 500 million of funding to help with the mission. Okay, it's, that's fine. It needs 10 of that, or I could just salvage it. Can I not salvage it? I can't salvage it yet. I need to research that too. Oh, here we go. The underground dome construction. Could finally do that. And might as well get some low G tunnel supports. But that does require the exotic materials. We don't have a source for that yet. So we're gonna lift up one and land another. Yes, that's so cool. Good, so this is the uh, this is the asteroid one. It's refueling, and then we're gonna go off and get stuff from the asteroid. It's gonna be amazing. 
They're gonna bring in all of the extra gas. It only takes 15, so it shouldn't take very long. We're gonna take along a micro auto excavator, some drones, some metal, concrete. I don't really know why, but that's what it wants us to take. So we're gonna request that. I'm gonna to totally get another one of these loaded up with like all of this stuff. And now that we can start bringing people in pretty soon, I wanna bring in some metal factories here and start building up some things in here, like, uh, where is it? A couple living quarters. Actually, let's not do a living quarter. Oh, cool. We're gonna do a living complex instead. That should have enough people. We're gonna need to bring in a, in the, this one, we have to bring in a space bar and maybe a, a grocery store. Where's the grocer? There it is. I'm gonna bring in a garden too, because they look cool. Opportunity one is ready to go. Okay, can transport resources and colonists between Mars and asteroids. Now we can go to this one. I'm totally gonna visit that asteroid with all of that stuff. I thought I did that already. I am really feeling the need to increase the amount of fuel going into this thing. Ooh, two new anomalies. I need that too. Hey, little research guy, go get me the anomaly. I'm about to go steal resources off of an asteroid. It's gonna be hilarious. I don't actually know if it'll be hilarious, but I'm really looking forward to it. Especially since that asteroid is like wasting away and it's almost gone already. Six souls, 12 hours remaining. And we just got a meteor impact. <laughs> That would have been bad if it would have hit this thing. Okay, here's the deal. I totally need to get another rocket. I want to get some of these orbital probes. I'm going to get like 10 of those. I want to also get some prefab buildings because I want another fuel refinery. And I'm going to get a buttload more of these things. Oh, oh, there it just went. It just left. Oh, I didn't tell it to go, but it just went. Now it's going to land on the asteroid with only five days remaining. Okay, I'm fine with that, sort of. Not really. So sad it left me without me knowing. Sector scan. Oh, here we go. It just landed. I'm so excited about this. Oh, wow. Okay. We have some minerals over here, water, and then rare materials there. Okay. We are we landed on an asteroid. We're going to land right here. I'm going to try to extract all of these underground exotic minerals that I can. There's also a lot of polymers here, which is kind of cool. Okay, little droids. Go get me these. Every one of them. I need my extractor. Go. Yes, it's being built. Nice, it needs power. I didn't bring any power things, did I? Well, we're gonna have to make this. Do I have any metal? I do. We've made it! Yes! Let's focus on gathering and mining many exotic minerals and other valuables that we can. The water's not so valuable because we have that. That thing's way on the other side. I'm not so excited about that, but I'm totally gonna get as many of these as I can. Nice. Come on. Come on, sun. There's no sun. Why is there no sun? There we go. Oh, does it not have enough power yet? Insufficient power. We need more. We require additional powers. How many does this one make? Five. Okay, so if I do another one, that'll be 10. And then we can put a battery in and it'll accumulate a little bit for overnight. This is cool, man. This is amazing. Okay, you do your thing. You keep gathering those polymers. That's always fun. And then, oh, Martian trail. Okay, I don't care about that right now. There it is. Yes, yes. Get me all those resources. Come on, go faster. Make me all of it in the world. We have 1.8. We got 1.8 of them, which is cool. Now they're starting to get rid of the resources there. We're gonna gather as many of these as we can. I can't really go anywhere else on this place. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> Exotic minerals there. That'd be cool. We'll just get this underground one for right now. There they go. I'm gonna set auto load for there and request it. Nope, 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 stop. Stop! No! <laughs> oh! It just took off on its own. I totally dumbed that up. Oh, shoot! Okay, it's back. Work, little drones. Work! Our lives depend on it. I just want to load this thing up like crazy. There you go. Gather all those materials. Okay, we've got to make sure we get everything right this time. Machine parts, the fuel, that's all good to take. We want all of the polymers. On the planet, we can leave the concrete. Uh, we can leave the metal. We can leave that. And I don't really need any preflabs, so that's cool. Let's request that. And now the drones are going to get to work bringing everything to the planet. That's not a planet. To the, the little shuttle boy. Okay, we got 20 hours left. I think I'm going to get one more exotic material here. There's 11 available still. I'm going to get, like, one more. As soon as one more pops out, everything else on the little asteroid has been mined up. Except for the stuff out of reach that I can't reach over. What are you doing, camera? Yeah, this stuff right over here. I really wish I could get those and the rare metals, but 
And that has to be staffed by colonists too. I guess it doesn't have to on here because this works. I think I got that extra one. Maybe we'll get one more. <laughs> I don't want to stay too long because if the asteroid moves away, it literally gets deleted. Like everything here that you have is gone because it can't get back to Mars. Okay, here we go. That's the last one. Turn it off. Go ahead and get that little piece of exotic mineral and let's board this boat and go back to Mars. Well, my friends, we successfully did it. We launched onto an asteroid. We gathered a bunch of resources here. We found the inner parts of Mars and kind of explored it. And if you'd like to see me explore more of this in another video, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you want to check out this game, make sure you click on that link down below in the video description. And thanks again to Paradox for sponsoring this video. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of the channel members and patrons, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto, Dave, Hawks, Hawks, Eagle Ark, Whip It Good, Des Bogger, Maxer, Sarnoff, Baron Fox, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Rail, Splatter Sacks, and Iffy Sphere. 